When providing row deletion capabilities in a grid, it's useful to include a confirmation mechanism that can prevent accidental deletions. This is extremely important in applications where the user has direct access to sensitive data, and a change, while reversible, can lead to loss of business or financial gains. In this video, you'll learn how to delete rows as well as provide a custom confirmation dialog at runtime when the deletion is requested. So let's get started. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. I expand the Solution Explorer and right-click to open the Add Reference window. I hold down the Control key and click to select the following components. I click OK to add them to my Silverlight project. Next, I'll add namespace references to the devexpress.ag data grid and devexpress.ag editor's CLR assemblies. In the layout route, I create a new AG data grid control and specify a name for it. I save the project and switch to code view. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to use a simple list as my data source. I add the following class to store the data and another class to create some test data. Now I need to bind the grid to data. In the page's default constructor, I set the data source property to the getData function of the product list class. I return to the XAML code. In the layout route, I create a stack panel to make the organization of the items in this page easier. Then I add a button that will be used to delete the selected row in the AG data grid. I'll give it an appropriate caption and set its positioning attributes. Finally, I'll create a handler for its click event. Let's move the grid control into the stack panel as well, so that it doesn't overlap the button control. I'll first set the allow row deleting property to false, so that deletion is done manually. Lastly, I'll create a handler for the grid's row deleting event. The row deleting event is raised when a delete operation occurs. I switch to code view. In the button's click event, I call the grid's delete row method to delete the selected row. Now let's switch to the row deleting event so we can implement the confirmation dialog. Here, a custom message box is displayed asking the user to confirm the deletion. The result is then set to the cancel event arg. So if the user clicks on OK, the row is deleted, otherwise the deletion request is canceled. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the results. I select a row and click on the button. The confirmation dialog is displayed. I don't want to delete this row, so I click on Cancel. The row remains untouched. But if I click the button and decide that I do indeed want to delete the row, the deletion is performed and the row is removed from the grid's view. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.